really hurting, isn't it? Yeah. Don't worry. I'll live. I can't believe my credit card going missing now of all times. Did you report it? Yeah, but that's not going to get the 30 grand you need, is it? You have to find some way of getting the cash. Normally it'd be easy, but the way things are at work... Oh, please, Jim. I'm desperate here. I'll sort something. Don't worry. I'm gonna get some painkillers from Viv's. Yeah. Leave it with me. Morning. Good morning, darling. How did you sleep? Fitfully. Oh. Must be the sign of a guilty conscience. <sighs> Got nothing to feel guilty about. Everyone has rows. Uh, Pearl, I think it's looking absolutely spick and span in here. Why don't you take a tea break? I'm not listening, you know. No. I'll get out of your hair, then. You always want to remember that Perdita knew what she was doing the day she married you. Oh, is she very angry? Yeah, very angry. Well, perhaps it's time you talk to her, now that she's calmed down. If she's calmed down. You're right. I'll talk to her. Good. I'll make you a quick coffee. So, you keeping OK, both of you? Yeah, I'm managing. Well, anything I can do to help, just give me a shout, yeah? There you go, mate. Cheers. And uh, apologise to the supplies for us, will you? Sure. I'll see you later. Do you think you can hold it together just for five minutes? Do you think you can get off my back? A bit early for raised voices, isn't it? I see we've got a new house guest this morning. Yes. Hmm. Wondered how long it'd be before Larry moved in. Just as long as he knows it's temporary. All right. Excuse me. What was that for? You're not making things any easier, you know. I'm not in the business to make life easier for her. Never have been. Right then. I'm off. You work hard for Jasmine, all right? Yeah, he's half time. We'll go. Oh, OK. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> all right. Number one, statue. OK? What? Statue. There you are. Spell statue. Oh, do I have to? Yes, Belle. It's the spelling test. I say words, you spell them. Forget it. Can't be bothered. What? Alfie! Uh, uh, Belle, where are you going? Outside. Hey! Uh, Belle? Belle? Belle, come back! No! What's going on? Uh, I think I've just lost control of the class. Right! I'll murder her. No, no, let me. <sighs> That's... Get her back, I mean, I don't actually... <laughs> mean... How's she going on otherwise? I can't get to learn anything today, Lisa. She doesn't want to. Belle! Ready? Hi. Uh, in the circumstances, I think I'll keep my distance. Right, still a bit raw for humour. I understand. Oh, yes, humour, of course. <laughs> My husband's a philanderer who's having an affair with another man. He says it's my fault because I can't give him kids. Yes, well, I certainly see how I'd be a punchline. OK, let me get this in first. What I said was wrong. It wasn't wrong, Grayson. It was unspeakable. I shouldn't have said it, and I'm sorry. Have you any idea what you put me through when you start behaving like this? I'm not having an affair, Purdy. Oh, and to top it all, you have the gall to suggest it's my fault because of the miscarriages which I choose to have because of your infidelities. I'm not having an affair. Well, then, who is lucky? No one I've ever met, if that's what you're thinking. Who is it? It's Diane. Diane from the pub. Oh, this is supposed to make me feel better. Well, at least it's not another man. No, that just... that just doesn't work at all. Sorry, you're gonna have to do that again. Oh dear, I've just had the press office on the phone again. They want to know if there's anything more we can give the papers. Currently following several lines of inquiry? That's exactly what I told them. 
Yeah, that's pretty much what I said to Vaughan. He wasn't best pleased. Not bad. All right, look, there's no point in us sitting around here scratching our backsides. Right. Let's do the rounds again. Let's re-interview the suspects about their movements at the time. Who do you want to go to first, then? Well, the Chief Constable is a good friend of... Uh, doubtless he'll be very annoyed if we start hassling her. Mrs King, then? Hmm. I think so. Say, maybe you could try and not lose it in front of the staff, though. Well, you concentrate on doing your job, and I'll concentrate... Care to explain, James? Yes, love, what can I get you? Actually, I just want a quiet word. Oh, what about? You know what about. Oh. Yes. Oh. Look, it's not what you think. Oh, what do I think? We're not... Me and Greg, we're not having it away or anything. Oh, that's what he says, at least, in so many words. It's true. We have a little flutter at a casino blackjack in Leeds. Well, either way, I'd like you to stop. Fancy a night in town? Take your own husband. At least while we both have one. Okay? That sounded interesting. Paul Grayson's gay, isn't he? That's neither a shocked nor a surprised expression. No, it isn't. Yes, yes, it is. And I wasn't nicking it. I was borrowing from the firm. Our firm. I'm entitled to do with it as I see fit, the same as you two are. <laughs> For Kelly Windsor's plastic surgery. I lost my credit card. Sue me. Are you saying neither of you have put the health of somebody you care about first? Are you seriously saying that? After everything we've been through? After all that we've lost? Yes, has got a point, Matt. Yeah? Can you imagine what the old fellow would have said? Yeah, well... So, who makes the decisions now, then? No, thanks. Well, I thought you'd have jumped at the chance, Matt. Oh, flipping heck, Jimmy. You don't have a monopoly on grief, you know. Meaning what? Meaning I miss him too. And if I thought I could bring him back and never ever saying anything ever again, I would. I didn't want it this way. None of us did. Well, then. For now, how about we make all the decisions together? Signing off money, contracts, whatever. <laughs> she in a bad way, Kelly? She's in pain. I want it to stop. I will pay the money back. You'd better. Uh, Zach, uh, this is the Home Education Inspector. Janet Mitchum. How do? Uh, well, have a seat. Uh, off, 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 mm. off. Mm. Um, <clears throat> oh, and that's our bell. And this is Jasmine, the young lady we've engaged to tutor her at home. Hello, Bell. Say hello, Bell. Hi. Can I please go outside now? It's doing my head in here. <laughs> I'll tell you what, um, how about we go down to the shop? We can work out the prices of things for your last lesson. Oh, flip it, eh? Good, sir. Tea, please. Well, I hope uh, you're going to get this business sorted. Well, that's the plan. It's my job to work out what's best for Belle. So I thought, considering the circumstances, that first we might have her assessed by an educational psychologist. You are? Just to see if we can find out why she's been so disruptive. No way. It is standard practice. I don't care if it's the flaming law. You're not sending my kid to a shrink. It's an educational psychologist, Mr Dingle. It's not quite the same thing. Mm, sure. So they don't tell her she's barking. They'll tell her she's stupid. It really isn't like that. No. All right. Then let's explore what other options we have. Sugar! Do you need a hand? Oh, dear. Thanks, love. Come on! I don't know 
I'm going to get all this back to work. Then it's taking the van, heaven knows where. We'll give you a hand. Oh, I can't ask you to do that. <laughs> no, it's fine. We could do with the walk, could we? <sighs> Belle, it's either that or Villa's shop maths. OK, where are we going? Oh. The home farm, where else? Oh, what a mess I've got myself. Uh, Belle, come on. Bad bird. Actually, I was about to go and do a bit of shopping, but... Oh, we just wanted a quick word. It shouldn't take long. Has something come up? We'd just like to go over a few things with you. It's nothing to worry about. Fine. Please, won't you come in? Make yourselves at home. Take a view. Did you get it? Oh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> Half of it, anyway. Sorry? Well, I had to borrow it from a company safe. The lads were great about it, but, uh, well, this is all we could spare. Sorry. Oh, it's all right. Oh, I've had a word with the bank. We can get the other half tomorrow, no sweat. Tomorrow? That's all right, isn't it? Yeah. Should be fine. You said you heard a scream and thought one of the guests was drunk. Well, yes, I still went to check. I mean, I wasn't really surprised. It was my wedding day and I expected people to be enjoying themselves. Anything you've remembered since or want to add? No, I think it's all there. Do you mind if I ask a personal question? No. You and Mr King getting together, it, it was quite sudden, wasn't it? Are you familiar with the expression whirlwind romance? <laughs> and that's what it was, was it? Inspector. Chief Inspector. Yeah, of course. Inspector, I've answered all your questions. We've gone over this statement. Nothing's changed. So, is this now becoming a formal interview? No, no. We're just chatting. Chatting? I... I'm just trying to get some background. I'm simply trying to understand your relationship with Mr. King, that's all. He was my husband. And you loved him? I wouldn't have married him if I didn't. Now, I really do have things to do, if you don't mind. Well, thank you very much for your time, Mrs. King. No problem. The expression cold fish comes to mind. You're not telling me everything. No. Oh, come on, Paul. I'm in this now. What's the harm in a few trips to a casino? I'm telling you, I've done it. Game over. What are you still doing here? Because I've got to wait for the second half. You all thought it. You've got 15 grand in cash. Why don't you get out of here before he susses you out? He won't. Why should he? Because it's you. For once in your life, Kelly, do the smart thing and get the hell out of here. So Purdy knows that he's gay. Talk of the devil. There's something you need to know. I don't think it's right to start accusing people. I just wondered what you thought, that was all. Well, can we go now? In a minute. Plenty yeah. of people were around. Um, all the brothers. Bob. Jamie. Rosemary. Len, even. Nothing to do with Leonard. No, I wasn't accusing him. Good. So, who then? I don't know, do I? You know, nobody's said or, or done anything to make you suspicious. Lots of people do things that sound suspicious out of context. Like what? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, come on, Pearl. Now, just between us, I can tell you know something. Well, I did hear Jimmy say something that could be misinterpreted. What? <laughs> it's just a joke. But I heard him saying to the others they should chip in to hire a hitman. But, like I said, it was just black humour. But still, I... Where's Belle gone? Hello, Chastity. Carly? I think so. Yes, why? Just wanted to see how he's doing. 
I would give him some space. He seems to be in a bit of a state this morning. Ah, oh, thanks, Rosemary, but I think Carl's quite capable of deciding whether he wants to see me or not. Oh, so you're going in anyway. Why am I surprised? Never mind that it's my home. Never mind that you know how my late husband felt about you. You'll just do as you wish. Perhaps I should install a revolving door. It might be your home, Rosemary, but it is not your house. And the way your husband felt about me, I'm quite glad he's not here either. Now, excuse me, I'm going to go and see Carl. What about Michael, if it's a boy? No, I feel like Seth. A bit old-fashioned. Well, it's biblical. So is Lucifer. Ashley. <laughs> anyway, Michael's biblical. I kind of, it's just so ordinary. And he was also the nasty one of the Godfather. As opposed to all the other characters who were really nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure about this. I ain't say goodbye to anyone. Because that's how you run a scam, isn't it? By telling everyone you're leaving. Why don't you tell Jimmy while you're at it? What? I've only got to manage for one more day and I can have the lot. Oh, it's from Jimmy. He wants to meet me in the pub. So ignore it. No. Kelly! I gather you spoke to Diane. Yes. What are you doing here? I thought perhaps we should talk. I think you said all you needed to say earlier. Hurry, please. Stairs. What? On the stairs. Oh, you'll need something to change into, won't you? Rather implies that you don't want me here. States rather than implies. Well, you have to go back to Mother, won't you? Well, there's always the other woman in your life. Oh, God. Three of us. The unholy triumvirate. <laughs> and the irony is it's men you want to sleep with. Well, what are you doing here? Where's Jasmine? What? It's all right, it's all right. Tell me in the house. What's happened? I can't tell you how good it is to see you. You only saw me a few hours ago. And it's still good. Especially after the kind of day I've had. Yeah? That's good to see you too. Um, can I get Scott a drink? I owe him one. What for? Um, he helped me move some stuff earlier. I'll tell you what. Get us all. Pint, please, Diane. I'll get these. Right, Ross. Same again for me and Jimmy, please. Right you are. So how is Sugar Daddy? Being played for all he's worth. I'm sure he is. I hope you find staying turns out to be worth it. You know why I'm hanging around. This time tomorrow I'll have a double with the jackpot, won't I? Come on, Kelly. Anyone can see that you're falling for the guy, which is why you're still here. Which is why you jumped as soon as he asked you to meet for a drink. You know what? That is so pathetic. You were so wide off the mark, it's not even worth discussing. His dad's just dying. The band's managed to find you £30,000 for an operation because he cares about you that much. We'll see how easy it is for you to walk away. We will, yeah. And I won't be looking back either. Cheers. Yeah, 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 she's fine. Don't worry, I'll talk to her. Yeah, yeah, see you, Jasmine. Is she mad at me for running off? Hmm? No. <laughs> hey, I should be mad. You know you'll be the death of me, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> what's all this? Hey, I'm only messing about. Come on, Flower, what's the matter? I don't want you to die, Dad. I'm not going to die, love. What makes you think that? I missed it, and that man did Mr King. I saw him fall from the window and he was dead. And you don't come back when you're dead. 
And now Alice, she's in the graveyard. We keep up these dreams that you're gonna die. Oh. <laughs> is that what this is about, Alice and Tom King? Yeah. Oh, now, come on, don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. Hey, eh? I'm just going to sit here and cuddle you till you feel a bit better. Hey? Eh? Because that's what dads do. <laughs> Especially dads that aren't going to die. Right? <laughs> well, stay with us here on FCV as CCTV footage never lies in the bill at 8, then later at 9. You choose what they get to sing in Soapstar Superstar. Next tonight, though, he's out and he's in a bad mood. Charlie's looking for revenge in Coronation Street.